Hey guys. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about the um, packing list for Ranger School. Um, this is like one of the biggest things that you can control at Ranger School. And to be honest with you, it's expensive. Like everybody always talks about, man, the packing list is so expensive. So my recommendation to you is start early. As soon as you think you have an idea that you want to go to ranger school, just start working on it early because it is expensive. There's a lot of stuff that you're probably going to end up buying. Um, but there is a lot of stuff on that packing list that, that guys buy that you don't have to like any, if you if you're in the army, which you know, you are because you're going to ranger school, um, your supply sergeant can resource this stuff as long as you like give him some time to get it. So, um, We'll jump into it quick here. To find the Ranger School packing list, you're gonna go to um, more.army.mil. Um, you know, it used to be Benning, but now it's more, M-O-O-R-E dot army dot mil. Um, it's gonna bring you up to the Fort Moore homepage. In the top left corner is gonna be a menu button. You're gonna click on that. Um, you're gonna go under the infantry category and all the way on the right, you're going to see Airborne Ranger Training Brigade. Um, just click on the Airborne Ranger Training Brigade, the whole main category. Um, and then on the left hand side, you're going to find, hang on, I'm trying to find it for you at the same time. Oh, you'll just see the, the Ranger School category. So click on the Ranger School category. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see the packing list tab. Click on that. And then Ranger School Packing List version 8. Um, and there's a lot of other things in there. The Critical Items Guide, the Essential Items Guide. Um, these are just like, like little guides with pictures in them that show you exactly like what you can or cannot do. The, um, if you just click on the version 8 packing list, it's just going to sh show you exactly what you need. Um, all those guides are really handy because they'll step you through like, Hey, this is exactly, this is exactly what you can or cannot have. Um, it's pretty, pretty handy, but so we're going to get into it. I want to apologize in advance. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer video. Um, but the packing list is pretty huge. It's pretty critical. Um, it does send quite a few guys home. Um, you have to have everything on the list. Doesn't matter if you're a summer ranger, winter ranger, you got to have it, all of it. So um, we'll jump into it really quick. So the first things um, you'll see on the um, pack list is administrative data. So you've got your orders, your SGLV, your DD93, um, a lot of other like stuff. Yeah, so you need all that, um, but you'll have it if you're going to school. You'll talk to your your school's guy, and they'll take care of it. Um, biggest thing is the ID tags with breakaway chain. It's got to be, at least for me, when I had my inspection, only in Darby phase, though. When I got to 5th RTBN, they didn't care if it was on a breakaway chain or not. But for some reason at Darby, it had to be on a breakaway chain. So... Two sets of dog tags or ID tags with a breakaway chain. That's the like chain you get at basic or whatever. All right. Um, then we get into the essential items, which means if you don't have it, they're going to release you from the course. So it's a, the rucksack um, and you know, it's all the components that comes with the rucksack. Now on this, um, packing list, they've got LIN numbers, which is like the army's way of like saying this is a, the exact one you have to have. Um, and then on the right hand side, there's always notes, right? So it says bring the large Molly ruck. If on your OCIE hand receipt to ranger school on in processing day, cat eyes and name tapes already sewn on the rucksack. And if you get into that, um, that guy that talks you through where your name and stuff like that will be sewn on. So, the cat eyes are going to be sewn on an inch above the name tape and one inch apart. Um, and the name tape is going to be centered and sewn above the bottom seam of the um, rucksack. So, but open up those guys and they'll help you out quite a bit. 
So anyhow, you got your rucksack. There's not a whole lot you're gonna change there. Um, and you got your ACH. Again, same thing. Um, not a lot you're gonna change there. I will say, like when I went, we everybody, every single person went through CIF. But I know that's not the case now. I know people, um, you bring your stuff now from your home station. I'm not sure if that's like everybody or some people still go to CIF because if you look on the packing list, it's got Compo 1 Active Army, Compo 2 National Guard, Compo 3 United States Army Reserve. So then there's a note here on ACH. It says any Army Compo 1 must bring from home station. Um, but it doesn't have a note on the rucksack. So, oh, there's a note. Don't bring the Molly 4K rucksack. Um, and I'll sell you this. You're going to want... Um, big rugs. So yeah, there's like little notes in here that um, what you have to bring from your home station and what CIF will give you, I guess. So open the document. It'll tell you if you need it. Best case scenario, just bring it from your home station. All right. So path suspension. Um, there's a red note here. So like if there's notes, it means that's exactly how you have to have it. Um, students must have all all seven suspension pads. Not having all seven pads during the layout will be will result in being dismissed. So you got to have every single pad. Um, don't like this isn't the time to bring your cool guy stuff, right? Um, you're not going to be comfortable in Ranger School. This is kind of the logic that I always like lived by in Ranger School. You're not going to be comfortable there. It's Ranger School. Expect to be uncomfortable. So just embrace it you know be uncomfortable i get it there's like way better you know team wendy pads there's like a ton of really nice pads out there i got it just it's 62 days deal with the crappy army issue pads you know you're already dealing with a crappy army issued bag and there's way nicer rucks out there than the the army issued ones so um it's ranger school expect a little discomfort all right, moving on. ACH bracket, that's just your, you know, your rhino mount. Um, you got to bring that. Um, a cat eyes band, so it's just like a helmet band for you to put, like, um, camouflaging in. ACH cover, you got to have that. Um, Eye Pro. So it says one pair minimum. Now, I would bring probably th three pairs, four pairs, like... I would bring plenty of iPro, probably three pairs, three to four pairs, because you're going to lose them. They're going to get scratched up They're, I mean, they're going to get beat up and you have to have them on like you. It's not a choice. You have to have iPro on at all times. And it's clear, except for when you get to Florida, they let you put shades on, which is super nice. Um, yeah, so um, the packing list is one pair minimum. I'd probably step that up to about four. All right, then your tap system, um, which includes all your like your canteen pouches, your magazine pouches, grenade pouches, flashbang pouches. Like you need all the stuff. Um, M4 magazine. Um, some guys showed up with like Magpul mags on this, so you need seven of those. Some guys sh showed up with like super nice mags. Don't don't do that just don't show up with the crappy army metal junky magazines and it says seven um you really only need to bring seven if you have seven at the initial layout you're good to go uh you have to have seven but like i showed up with like 10 12 of them mostly because i knew that they were going to go missing and they do like you're you're constantly changing mags you're dropping mags get, like you start the course with everybody having seven mags and you end the course with everybody probably having three of them. The only nuisance about like losing the mags is the RIs don't care that you have less mags. You just, you get the same amount of ammo. So now you just have loose five, five, six boxes, like just rolling around in your ruck. That's the annoying part. Um, it's just that you don't have a place to put it, but you're going to have that anyways, because they give you a ton of ammo. So, uh, yeah, don't bring super nice mags. That's my my little note on the magazines. 
um, canteen one quart, canteen two quart, um, It says one. Hmm, that seem, seems strange to me because we had two two quarts. So uh, there's a note here that says it says one each. Um, and then there's OCIE guidance for issue on that. So that, that's one of those other deals on the web page. Uh, seems strange to me that it's only one. It used to be two. We had to have two on our rugs. But anyhow, moving on. So then there's the... Um, Camel back, got to have that. Um, you show up with the camel back full or they'll, I think they drop you like on the spot. It's pretty, they're pretty wild about like day one reporting. All right. Um, then we get into our cold weather stuff. The, the Gen 3 Equix system. Um, you've got your level one lightweight cold drawers, two of them, midweight cold drawers, two of them. Um, lightweight undershirt. That's the silkies. That's the silkies and the waffles that the, that we're talking about here. Um, two pairs of each. I know like some guys had, a, um, like the waffles, they had them like taken into commandos or wherever they did it. I think you can just buy them straight from commandos now that are like Velcroed up the side. So they cut it up the side and Velcro them. So you don't have to take your pants all the way off. Um, I didn't have a pair of those and I'll be honest with you. Um, so I was a winter ranger. I went through the winter time, but for some reason I was like kind of a, I guess you could call it lucky or unlucky. I don't really know how it depends on what lens you want to look at it. It was never cold enough that we got burn barrels or ever put snivel on. Um, but it was cold still. So like the RIs tell you when you can put snivel on and unfortunately we never got to put it on. So, um, I know, but I know some guys do that. So that's just one more thing you could probably do that make your life a little easier. Um, again, you're going to spend money on it. So gator neck, and then you got these mitten inserts, mitten shells. These are like actually kind of hard to find. So um, that's one thing where I'd start like start researching now. This item 31 and 32 on the packing list, they're mittens. Um, they're kind of hard to find. Combat gloves. Um, it says one pair i'd probably bring three pairs like they're gonna get lost or they're gonna get shredded just i would bring three pairs of gloves you pretty much always have gloves on so um and then it's got work gloves heavy duty those are like repelling gloves and to be honest with you um so like when i went we got given these from cif for repelling during like mountains phase but i they have to be repelling gloves because that's that's what the work gloves are for. I don't know why else they would be on there. So um, think of those like work gloves as repelling gloves. And then flyers gloves or intermediate cold weather gloves. Again, just another pair of gloves. So you got your rubber over boots. Um, and I'm really only going to talk crazy about things that like are pertinent or have big notes on them. All right, boots, intermediate cold weather. So there's a uh, note on the side that says the boot tag must specify 200 grams of thin slit or greater boot or greater or boot must have a liner. So they're, they're picky about this. Like they're going to look at the label and if the label doesn't say 200 grams of thin slit, doesn't count. Um, also, some guys thought they could get away with just like regular summer boots with the liner. They have to be like the army issued winter boot plus those little booty liner things. Um, the, the winter boots are pretty picky. So I know like there's a whole host of them out there. Um, the Garmont extreme cold weather ones or whatever, those are pretty, pretty solid boot. They're also pricey. So, uh, yeah, moving on. Um, Poncho, wet weather, or tarp. Um, yeah, it's just your poncho. Uh, extreme cold wet weather jacket. The trousers wet weather. Stuff sack. Large stuff. So you need both your stuff sacks. So that's all your... You need every piece of your Gen 3 Equix system 
seven layer system, whatever you've heard it called as. It's the the camouflage stuff that like isn't a uniform. Um, if you're kind of newer to the service and you're getting in, it's, you know, you'll have, so you'll have a pair of wet weather pants and a pair of regular pants that are like soft and they've got suspenders, right? Um, and then you'll have like a puffy gray pair of pants, like snow pant looking stuff. So you'll have three pairs of pants and then you'll have like a wind jacket, which is like a jacket that zips up, um, it does not have pockets in the front and it's got like name tapes that kind of come at an angle and there's no hood. Then you've got another one that's like soft, has a hood, um, and has like zipper pockets here and zipper pockets down here. So, um, and then you'll have a wet weather top, which is like, I don't know, it's, it's a wet weather top. It's like going to sound like, like, You'll know what a wet weather top is. And then you got your, again, your snowsuit or your puff jacket. So that's the seven layer system. You need all those things. Um, stuff stack large. There's actually two stuff stacks with every um, component, if you didn't know that. So you need both of those. You need your bivy, both sleeping bags. So the winter and the summer sleeping bag. All right. Then the um, patrol cap. Two of them. Make sure both of them have the cat eyes sewn on the back. So you got, cause you have to have cat eyes sewn on the back. Um, yeah. All right, moving on. Coat ACU OCP. Must have a minimum of two winter uniforms. The others can be hot weathers, right? So you have to have four of these. Um, two of them have to be like the regular cold weather uniforms. The other two can be hot weathers. Um, I'll tell you, I brought like six uniforms, seven uniforms or something to this. Cause I expected them to just be wrecked. Uh, I didn't use all of them. We'll say that. So I used one basically during rap week and after Mel Vesti, I threw it away cause it was just garbage. So Plan on like bringing a junkie set from Alvesti to throw out. So there's one. Um, and then I pretty much used the same uniform the whole way through the course. It was absolutely toasted by the end. Like it was shot by the end. Some, some guys don't get away with it. Some guys have to change out a uniform here and there. I mean, you do laundry. Like there's laundry facilities um, like in every phase. So I would... It's not like I wore the same uniform for 62 days. I washed it um, occasionally, but yeah, it was, it was trash. So then that got thrown away at the end. And then I had like, I think I still had like three pairs, but then there's one pair to like, that's still decent that you wore in graduation. But the note says four. I don't think you need to bring any more than that. Your bags are already stuffed. That's one thing to talk about is you only get two um, duffel bags plus your rucksack. So like, it's not a lot of space and there's a, it's a pretty big packing list. So, um, moving on, um, trousers, OCP, same thing Four, two of them have to be the cold weather one, seven tan t-shirts. Um, big thing is no logos on these. You're just plain basic training issued, like from the PX, nothing on them. T-shirts just, and then no spandex, so they can't be like Under Armour-y, spandex -y, right? Um, brown belt, rigor style, it says one. Um, I thought we had to have two, but uh, it has to be a rigor style. So like it has to have a D-ring on the belt. It can't just be like the basic training issued belt. It has to be a rigor. You need it in mountains phase, so just... And I think Florida, yeah. In Florida, you need it too because that's what you use to clip onto the one rope bridge. So um, it's got to be a rigger's belt. It's got to have a D-ring on it. Uh, all right, moving on. Socks, um, cushion, sole. Jesus, they really changed the old packing list a lot. Um, black, tan, or green. You need seven. 
Um, you had to have 15 when I went through because I bought 15 pairs of darn tufts. And to be honest with you, I'd bring more than seven. Like you bring more than seven. I would bring, there is a note that says they can, they're encouraged to bring as many as they need. Seven pairs are the preferred quantity. I brought 15. 15 was probably overkill, but 12 would be probably a, a better number, a good number. I would bring more than seven. 12 is a, probably a closer number. Um, I have a video on socks. So if you have any questions on that, just go to, to my sock video and I address quite a bit in there. All right, uh, boots, hot weather, two pairs. I brought three pairs um, and I threw one pair out after mountains phase. So then I had two, but to be honest with you, um, you get enough like opportunities to get boots. I guess, you know, after you could, you can make the call after Darby um, in your Darby pass, if you needed to buy another pair of boots, two is probably sufficient there. Um, I would think, I mean, you could always send a letter home and have them mail you a box of boots. I also have a video on this. It's like a Ranger school ready-made boxes or something to that effect. Um, it, I, in that video, I talk about having like specific boxes pre-staged for your loved ones or your family back home to send to you once you send them a letter or whatever. All right, moving on. Um, PT uniform, jacket, pants, long sleeve shirt, long sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt, shorts, one set. Um, that's really all you need is a single set. Your cell, you wear it for the PT test. Like you're never in PTs. And I think I brought like three pairs and it's just extra garbage taking up space in your bag. One set is sufficient. You don't need any more. You'll wear it in the barracks like in mountains phase when you go to bed. But like most of the time guys are just like wearing silkies and no shirt. Like you don't need it. So one is plenty. Um, socks, white, black, calf or above. So PT socks, two pairs. You got to have the two pairs. Don't bring any more. Um, watch cap black micro fleece one I would bring probably two to three of these depending on especially depending on when you're going like if you're going to be a winter ranger I'd bring a couple of them because for some reason these stupid hats seem to be like like a mind of their own they just disappear these hats for some reason disappear and then you'll have none and then you know like you'll buy a bunch of them and you'll keep losing them. And then for some reason, they all just like show up at the same time. And now you've got 48 of them, but I bring a few pairs of, or a few of these hats in the event, the RIs let you wear one. you want to have one. All right. Um, PT belt, um, high vis yellow one, just bring one PT shoes, one pair earplugs with case, triple flange minimum one, I would bring way more than that. I would bring like three or four. Like you lose earplugs constantly. Um, and then you're like shoving brass in your ear and stuff. Just, I bring a lot more than one pair of earplugs. Um, same thing, Protractor, it's got one. I would probably step that number up to like seven or eight or nine or 10. Like bring a lot of Protractors. Those things get lost, they get broken. So, um, razor shaving one razor blades. It says 12, just like do some, you know, guy math. I, I think that's like a popular thing now. Um, just do some like thinking, uh, how many razor blades am I going to need? I think I planned on bringing one razor blade per week that I would be there. And I planned on three months. So, um, yeah, you do the math on that. Um, alcohol marker, permanent four pack, multiple colors. It says one, I'd bring, bring plenty of markers that those things always seem to go away. They just disappear. Um, camo stick or like some sort of camouflage face painting it says three, I'd bring five, six, probably because you're putting camo on constantly. Like it's just, you're always running out of it. All right. Um, assault pack. Same thing, just the issued one. Got to have your cat eyes and stuff sewn on them. Name tape, cloth, sew on for equipment. It says four. Um, and it says 
you're only going to need them if your stuff is not sewn on for like your taps so you'll need to sew on your taps or your flick um, lbv whatever the hell you call it um, your camelback your ruck and your assault pack so those are the four things i would still probably bring an extra one or two name tapes in case they get ripped off for some reason um then you can like you have one that you can sew on all right waterproof bag two of them gotta have them um make sure that they're like good and waterproof e-tool um what the heck carrier entrenching entrenching tool okay so the e-tool carrier um canteen cup elbow and knee pads um gotta have those i'll do a, probably a video on the knee pads but um you get the arcteryx ones just spend the money i know they're expensive it seems crazy 70 dollars for a pair of knee pads the army gives you some but the ones the army gives you is just fall down they're they're garbage just get the arcteryx ones um so sleeping mat just whatever um get sleep mat I would probably actually, if you could, encourage you to get the one that's just like foam and rolls up. And I, I never used it, honestly. I don't, I know some guys did, some guys got it out and used it. Um, to me, it wasn't worth, it wasn't worth the time to drag that thing out to try to use it. But um, like I said, my mountains phase was, it was cold, um, but it wasn't like, I don't know like zero or anything it was i was cold but it wasn't i guess i thought i got pretty lucky anyhow um black tape two rolls you probably don't need any more than that it's probably plenty um eyeglasses two if you have them um civilian clothing one each and it's got to be like a collared shirt one pair of pants one jacket they got to be like nice like nice civilian clothes that's for your derby pass <laughs> A weapons cleaning kit, you got to have that. Make sure it's not huge and bulky, just like a small little weapons cleaning kit. Um, a whistle, one each. Yep, that's probably fine. Combination locks. Um, you've got to have three. Now, one note on the combo locks. Don't get the ones that, you know, like your wall lock or like a locker where you're like spinning, 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 spinning. spinning. Get the ones that have like three numbers on it three or four numbers because it's way faster and when you need like time is always your enemy at ranger school just get the ones that you can just like spin to like one two three four or one 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 two 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 whatever just get the ones that you can spin to the number that's easiest for you all right batteries double a triple a or one two three 16 minimum um yeah they're probably right there and you probably need more than that i will say like you're changing batteries and your headlamps pretty much constantly. So bring plenty of batteries. Um, headlamp, I've got a video on headlamps. Um, it says one minimum, I'd bring three or four. Uh, loom tape, one inch by six inch strip. It says one. Um, that's for your cat eyes. I would bring plenty, I bring a lot more loom tape. And if you talk to your supply sergeant, they can get them in like a four inch roll that are like a hundred feet long. So 550 cord, 300 feet. Again, 300 feet probably won't take you very far. I'd, I would recommend having like five to 600 feet. Um, then you got your pens, pencils, notebooks. Um, make sure you got plenty of notebooks, plenty of pens, plenty of pencils. Um, sewing kit, you got to have a sewing kit. And actually we had to stop a patrol one time. So a guy could like sew his pants back up cause they blew out. Um, shaving cream, shaving cream, toothbrush, toothpaste. Again, just make sure you bring enough of this stuff so that you've, you can get, you can last. Um, there will be like resupply opportunities. I didn't even want to rely on those. I just, I brought enough stuff so that if I didn't have any chance to get any more stuff, I could live out of my bag and it was full and it sucked they're heavy but i don't know i that's the way i did it um towels looks like you got uh two towels two washcloths they're on the list you got to have them two is plenty um shower shoes soap that's got to be a bar of soap like you can't have 
at least when I went through, you couldn't have like body wash in a bottle. It had to be bars of soap. Um, laundry soap, I would recommend not bringing Tide Pods. I would go to like the PX and get those wash ease, like fabric washable ones that don't explode in your bag. Um, they're like these cloths of laundry soap. I would recommend those. Wash Ease is the brand. All right, 100 miles an hour. 100 mile an hour tape, uh, one roll. Uh, one roll is probably fine, maybe two. Wrist watch, it says one each. I actually would bring an extra one. These, these are not GPS, they're not super smart. They're like the $10 crappy Walmart watches, right? You don't need anything special. They just need to be able to tell time. Um, duffel bag two. It says, if you look on the list, it says three. I think you only get three as if, if you're, um, Oconus coming to Ranger school or your TDY and route, which means like, um, you know, you're, you're moving PCS station. So you're, you were stationed at J bear and now, which I guess is also never mind. So you were stationed, let's say you were stationed at Knox. And now you're getting stationed in um, Fort Sill. But on the way, you're going to go to Fort Benning and do Ranger School. You get three bags. Okay, moving on. Um, and then barracks bags, one, that's like your laundry bag. All right, then the next little list is for women. Um, I'm not going to be able to talk about that very much for obvious reasons. So, um, we are not even going to talk about it. Just get the list if you're a woman. And hopefully you can do a little self-assessment on that. All right. So, moving on. Uh, the next chunk of the list is the optional items. So, um, bladder hydration with bite valve. I wouldn't bring that personally um, because you can get it from the, the, the RIs. You can resource it. Like, you can request it. And they... They'll get you some hood, cold weather, balaclava. Um, yeah, bring it. Sure. Um, if they're optional, I would still bring everything on this optional list for the most part. Um, hot weather. So two more hot weathers, two more cold weather uniforms. Um, the waist pack, which is not on like the taps thing, but it's like the... You know, the butt pack that you clip around, you can store extra stuff in it. Um, more alcohol mar markers, alcohol erasers. Yeah, I would bring some of those. Bring plenty of those because they also go missing. Anti-chafing lotion. Um, I'm guessing that's Body Glide. Mm. Oh, yeah, look at that. It says Body Glide authorized in the notes. So that's new. We couldn't have Body Glide. So that's pretty cool. Um, help you uh, prevent chafing. That's not bad. Um, baby wipes, uh, 124 total, unscented, alcohol-free. Yep, I bring a pack of baby wipes, pack or two of baby wipes. That's pretty solid. Um, chem lights, 20 each. Uh, it just says you can't have red. Now, I'll say this about the chem lights. Like, sometimes you request them from an RI, and you'll get them. Sometimes you won't. It just it kind of depends. Uh, all right, moving on. Cotton swabs, a box of them. I don't know. Just if you're going, I wouldn't bring them. You're going to ranger school. Um, like I said, expect a little discomfort. You can go a few weeks without cleaning your ears, but uh, it's not on me. So underwear is optional. You notice I didn't talk about it in there, but I have a video on underwear. It cannot be spandex. That's the note on that. Um, jacket cold weather. So that's your fleece jacket. Um, Parker Gore-Tex, trouser Gore-Tex. An electric hair trimmer. So that's like to cut your hair. I would bring that. Would recommend bringing a, a, like a hair trimmer razor thing to cut your hair. Um, extra boot laces. Yep, I'd bring that. Bring a set of that. Um, fingernail, no Toenail clippers, yep. I I mean, I just have one in my hygiene kit. It just stays in there, so. Foot powder, I didn't bring 
actually i think i brought a little bottle but i don't i don't use foot powder i'm not a foot powder guy so i think it just like gets i don't know i put it in the you know you put it in the boots and put it in your feet and it just to me it feels like it gets like slimy and greasy down there i just don't like it so i'm not a foot powder guy i brought a bottle but definitely if you are a foot powder person um bring it um it cannot be menthol though it can't be like the medicated menthol -y foot powder it has to just be plain old foot powder um gloves cold weather civilian gore-tex i would bring a decent set of cold weather gloves um and then tactical gloves again same things like i i bring a few pairs of those now the big one gum 60 total it cannot have energy caffeine or nicotine it's just got to be regular old gum um it's got to be in its original package unopened there's been a if you follow like um the ranger training battalion battalion thing on facebook and instagram and stuff like that there's been a huge issue with um people bringing contraband in like sneaking stuff in with their gum dude don't mess around it's already hard enough to get into ranger school i will i don't know why you would mess around and bring in contraband and like risk getting kicked out to never return most likely um just don't golly anyhow gum um 60 pairs or it says 60 sticks total Dude, you can't have enough gum in ranger school. You're so hungry. You're just like eating it. Con like you're putting a piece in your mouth and you're chewing it for a few seconds until the flavor is like not as strong. And then you swallow it and put a new piece in. Like it's insane how much gum you chew. Now, the 60 sticks total. I never witnessed it. You could have as much gum as you wanted at any layout that I ever saw. I have heard of guys saying, nope, 60 was the limit. If we had any more than 60, they might just throw it away. Um, I guess roll the dice on that, but make sure your family is ready to send you gum because you're going to need it. Just, it can't have caffeine in it. All the gum. You need all the gum. All right. Hand sanitizer guys use that to clean products off. Um, index cards says two packs. I'd bring two to three packs and I would bring the assortment of like three by five, five by seven. Like I would bring an assortment of index cards. You're going to use them for your product development um, op orders, sand tables, you're going to use the index cards. Um, insect repellent, no aerosol, so it can't be like spray on. Um, boot insoles, two each. Uh, yeah, I would bring insoles. I didn't have them. Um, I got a pair of insoles when I was an eye bullock and would recommend. Uh, I don't know why I waited so long to get decent insoles, but insoles are good. Large trash bags, it says one roll or one box uh yeah get large trash bags the big thing in these is make sure they're thick like the thick 30 mil like you you want them to be durable not the cheap crappy ones you'd find in you know the army cleaning closet go buy contractor thick bags you're gonna help use it to waterproof your stuff in the swamps phase like you're gonna just use it okay Get the thick bags, and I would bring them. Lamination paper, one roll max. I'd bring stuff. You're going to use it for, like, uh, uh, product development. Leatherman tool, one, bring it. Letter writing material, as needed. I would bring some letter writing material. You get bored. Um, the big thing that, like, I would recommend, or what I did, is I pre-addressed a lot of my envelopes. I, you know who you're probably going to send a letter to, right? It's probably one or two people. Just pre-address some envelopes and pre-stamp them so they're just done. And then I had some blank ones in case like something came up and I was like, oh, I'm going to send a letter to Billy for whatever reason. Um, I had some blank ones, but most of, I mostly went with like pre-address stuff. All right. Um, uh, this is already at 40 minutes, so I'm going to try to rip through this quick. Uh, so lighter, you bring a lighter. And get the jet one. Don't get like the standard normal Bic one. Get the jet ones because everything's always wet. And if you have wet 550 cord you're trying to melt, the jet one will actually melt it. So get the jet butane blowing ones. They're phenomenal. All right, field jacket liner, the, um, the smoker's jacket. If you don't have one, get one and you can thank me later. Period. Lip balm, um, one each use this call on yourself 
Um, I use a lot of ch chapstick, especially when my face gets like windburn. So I brought probably two or three of these. That was plenty. Uh, lotion, um, two each. This should be your uh, O'Keefe's hand cream. Like it comes in a green bottle or a green like container. Uh, yeah, you're gonna, your hands are wrecked. Like they're just cracked and splitting and dry and just beat to hell. I would bring some O'Keefe's hand cream for sure. Uh, map case, you'll use that for land nav. I didn't, I don't, didn't bring one. Don't use one. Moleskin, only bring enough to get you through wrap week. Once you get into Darby phase and beyond, the medics, you're doing foot checks constantly. <clears throat> the medics will give you moleskin as you need it. Um, pace cord or like ranger beads. Yeah, if you if you want it, bring it. Um, a pocket knife, one each, has to be four inch or less. I maybe bring two, honestly. Um, and don't bring anything like, don't bring your spider co. Don't bring super nice stuff there. In the event that you lose it or it gets broken or lost or stolen, whatever, just don't bring nice stuff to ranger school. Um, retainer bands. I'm assuming, I don't know what those are. 25 of them. So rubber bands, I'm guessing. Um, a small mirror for shaving. If you want it, sunscreen, you can get that from the medics, to be honest with you. Um, just expect that like, you're not going to get any medical support through wrap week. Once you get through wrap week, you have all the medical support you could, you could need a soap dish. That's like a, you know, like a box to hold your bar. soap. Um, status cards don't bring any products so status card I wouldn't even bring a status card don't just just make it there most of the time our eyes are probably going to take it from you um, tray model kit you should probably have a tray model kit you know something that you can add to the stock it's going to be wrecked when you leave and you're probably not going to take it with you but bring something with you uh, waterproof bags like ziploc bags Absolutely. I'll bring gallon size. I bring pint size. I bring, bring more waterproofing shit than you think you need. Um, a whetstone to sharpen your knife. I wouldn't worry about it. Just fucking grind through a dull knife if you need to. Uh, wrist compass. I know a lot of guys like these. They like go on your wrist um, for like quick access. I tried it for a little bit. I, I just didn't, I didn't find it very reliable and I didn't trust it very much. So if you don't trust it, then you're better off to just use a regular compass, which is what I did. I didn't use the wrist compass, but I know a lot of guys did and they absolutely loved it. So that's kind of on you. Um, color, shoulder, sleeve, insignia, and flag. Um, so that's like uh, the unit that you are in or are going to um, in a colored version. So like if you're going 10th mountain, you've got the, like the blue 10th mountain patch and that's strictly not required, strictly for graduation photos. So. Um, if you've got a loved one coming to your graduation, just maybe you could give it to them. That's one less thing you've got to deal with. Um, and then anti-chafing cream. All right, so then there's uh, administration footnotes, which we do want to kind of get into. And then there's like some unauthorized stuff. So again, it says it'll talk. It's got a little note on the Ranger cat eyes. Um, it says all Army compo students will arrive with their own TIA. TA-50, CAF will no longer issue equipment to students ranger school. Again, you've got to show up with it. Special Forces and the 75th may wear their unit-issued stuff. So, like, they've got Gucci gear, you know, like Patagonias and nicer stuff than, like, us conventional guys get. So, uh, they can wear their nice stuff. Mm, international students, if, if that's you... Um, you're encouraged to bring your own stuff. Um, sister services are encouraged to bring their own stuff. So like Marines or Navy or whoever, you know, goes through. So and then there's a note that says items not listed on the above packing list are unauthorized, which means if it's not on that list and you bring it, it's not authorized. All right. Now, unauthorized stuff. And like I said earlier, there's been like a huge issue with like contraband lately for some reason guys are like sneaking sneaking in like zins and um food and crap like that just cell phones just don't sneak anything in you got a chance to go to ranger school just it sucks i get it but it's 60 days of suck it's like pretty relatively low um so the unauthorized things 
cell phone, any caffeine product, any, any caffeine at all, caffeine pills, caffeine gum, caffeine of any sort, unauthorized, tobacco of any sort, unauthorized, um, any civilian long underwear. So like, I don't know, I suppose if you have like long johns that you bought at REI, uh, unauthorized. Contact lenses, prohibit abido. No contact lenses, has to be glasses the whole time. Just get LASIK would be my recommendation. Um, any filled in operations order, Frago or Annex format. So like basically any product. If it's a product, can't have it. Um, any modified shoulder strap or kidney pads, meaning like I suppose if you send your stuff into like tactical tailor and have it like modified so it's like more cushiony. It's got to be just like standard run-of-the-mill issued crap. Spandex type athletic wear or underwear. Tight fitting like Under Armour, compression shorts, stuff like that you can't have. Any vitamins, energy pills, caffeine pills, or any supplementation of any kind unauthorized. You can't bring any supplements. You can't bring food. You can't bring anything. Just if it's on the list, bring it. If it's not on the list, don't bring it. Um, Gore-Tex socks. Can't have um, civilian medication, so like Tylenol or any of that crap, can't have any medication. Again, the RIs, they're going to find it. Don't even think you can like sneak it in. Just don't. Um, and the medics are going to, if you need Tylenol, the medics will absolutely give you Tylenol just after the first five days. Like get through rap week, whatever. Um... Okay, then the next note is no personal TA-50, and it's got a note on here. It says, like, carabiners, bungee cords, civilian wet weather bag, waterproof cases. Like, if it's civilian, don't bring it. it. Just, if it's not on their list, don't bring it. And then don't bring any cash over $100. Um, so, yeah, um, that's the uh, packing list. I know it's super in-depth. Um, and like I said, if you go to the Fort Moore website, they're going to have a, um, like a layout of each of these things and there'll be pictures and depicting all the stuff. So I would go to the website, use that resource. It'll help you out, um, when you're getting ready to go. And like, if I can reiterate it, it's, it's expensive. Like the packing list is pretty rough. So start early as soon as you think you know you're going to go to ranger school or um you when you do know you're going to go to ranger school start early get in and talk to your supply nco see if they can get some of this stuff ordered for you so that it's just less cost you have to spend so uh anyhow guys that's all i got um thanks for watching if you're still with me 45 minutes into this i knew this was going to be a long one but um yeah so anyhow um Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, leave a comment. Um, if there's any videos you want to see, I'll try to address them. Um, yeah. Anyhow, thanks, guys. Have a great day.